very strange. Just Jace, it seemed like from the beginning you just took it to him in the paint there. Can you talk about your, your inside game and rebounding? Uh, yeah, um, I just knew that we needed to be the aggressor tonight and um, I wanted to set a tone for our girls. Um, so I just really used my physicality to hopefully get us going. So we into this one, you guys lost three straight to the Cats. Did you think about that uh, before the game? Was that, I mean, does this mean something to you to snap a losing streak? Yeah, you think about it a little bit, but um, you, move, you move past it right away. You think, you know what, we're, we are a better team than how we played those last three games, and that's what we need to think about. We need to think about the team we are um, when we go and play them and have the confidence, and um, we focus on the win, not um, the past losses. Taylor, 14 points in the third quarter there. What happened? Um, I think we were just at a point in the game where we've had a bad third quarter recently, and I think we really needed to pick up the intensity in the third quarter and get things going. So, yeah. Taylor, I've seen you down here shooting uh, all the time before practice, after practice. What's that work been like, and what's it like then to go out and hit four straight like you did and have a kind of breakthrough for you? Um, I've put in a lot of time, yeah, shooting this summer and in the off season, so it felt good to get a few of those threes down. And defensively, with the zone today, you can talk about that, Jason, how well you yeah, I think um, to have a good zone, you have to communicate. I think that that um, was a big part of what we had tonight was just this team mentality to communicate, talking about dropping people where shooters were at. Um, you just saw everyone playing team defense tonight. I don't think anyone let up on the defensive end one play. Jace, on offense, um, MSU was playing man. They started in man. They went to zone. Did you guys see that? Did you identify that? Like, who, who called that out? And how were you able to uh, adjust very well in this game? Yeah, we're lucky we have um, a, such a smart point guard. Kinsey does a, such a great job. She can help adjust to that. And we're lucky because we have a lot of man sets that we can play with, with zone. So we'll stay in it. And then the next play down, we'll check it out. And our coaches will let us know, too, that, we're, that they're in zone. So um, it wasn't too hard for us to make that switch. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't hard at all because you guys just you blew through them. It seemed like MSU wasn't playing very good defense at all. Was that just better offense from you guys? Or were you taking advantage of something that you saw? What do you think it was? You know, like I said, that being the aggressor was huge for us. Um, and to just let them know that this is our home floor and you're not going to get this one easy. And we just put our heads down and we went to work. Taylor, do you ever remember having a quarter like that? Shooting the ball? Um, not since like high school, I guess. <laughs> But, yeah, it's been a while since I've had 14 and a quarter. Chase, when she's making open shots, how much pressure does that take off the inside? Oh, so much. Um, Taylor's such a fun person to play with because she does such a good job of shooting the ball, but then um, making the right read out of it, too. She's definitely worked on getting the ball inside, too. So I think that her hitting those shots opens up our entire offense. start off with your initial comments from a, a big win, a complete win from your team. Uh, yeah, it was, it was great to come out today and, and put 40 minutes together. That's been something the Lady Grizz has been struggling with as of late. Uh, I thought the girls played with just incredible emotion and heart today. And uh, we, were, we were throwing a little curveball, throwing the zone out there. Uh, we haven't played a lot of 2-3, so uh, I was really extremely proud of the way they adjusted as the game went on and, and we were able to stay in it and it was it was a good move for us. With a team like Montana State that shoots so many threes, what gave you the confidence that the, the zone would be the right one? Well, it is scary uh, looking at how many they take and what they're shooting as a team percentage wise and you know you're going to give them up uh, no matter what in man or zone and I don't know I just felt like it was um, the right thing for us to try at least and then of course they came out and banged a few right off the bat but um, they're a high scoring team and, and we knew we, they were going to get some and hopefully we could just get some good stretches of D going to where um, you know, we were able to rebound the ball and not give them as many second chances. We got kicked on the old boards down there and that was a big uh, point of emphasis for us in this game was to make sure we didn't get out rebounded. It just kind of looked like the physically imposing team out there today. Can you talk about uh, your strategy going in to, to attack the rim? Well, we talked about the fact that we didn't feel that was really us down there when we played last time. Um, just watching video, it didn't seem like that was our normal team. And uh, everybody always plays better at home. And these guys have a lot of pride in not wanting this to be a tough place to play at <coughs> Auburg Arena. And we had a great atmosphere here today. And it certainly was 
not going to be a game that they were going to let slip away easy. So uh, from start to finish, they just absolutely brought incredible intensity, and I, I love the way that they played. The last couple of weeks, you've talked about trying to find the right combination. And today, it looked like the combination was to, to keep Mackenzie, Maddie, and, and Jace on the floor there. Can you talk about uh, uh, their minutes today? Yeah. Um, you know, it was it was a little different what we had to do just because of who could play where in the zone. So we had to be a little bit careful of, of putting some people together out there. But Haley, I thought, made a big move today, getting her out there on the floor. Uh, and then Maddie Shoning just had a huge game. I, I got on her pretty hard about her play down there at Bozeman. She kind of didn't show up, and she knew it. And, and I went out and got 14 boards in this one and just absolutely laid it on the line. Um, but uh, I think that... You know, with the loss of Sophia, we've been looking for someone to emerge, and Haley has really come on, uh, and we need that out of her. It was it was great to see her do a variety of things today. Hey, Taylor hit those four, four threes and five positions, and you guys really carried the momentum after that. Do you feel like that was kind of turning point? It, it was huge, obviously. Uh, we've been waiting for Taylor to come in and do that. She's such a great shooter, and I know it's been frustrating for her. So those were big, big baskets. Uh, fun to get the crowd involved and, and make a big run, but they're such a scary team that you can't let up. I mean, I always remind myself of our NAU game with you know not much time left, and, and with as quickly as they can score, uh, you just can't relax till the buzzer goes off. We talked two weeks ago about Taylor, all the extra work she's put in to try to shape this shooting slope as a coach was I like to see the work actually pay off on the big oh like so so rewarding you always want good things to happen to kids that work hard and Taylor's been one of our hardest workers you know in the weight room on on the floor in the off season so uh, really rewarding to see somebody like that get have something good happen for him your offense was incredibly efficient um, but they were, they were mixing their defenses were you guys prepared for how much zone they were going to throw or did that catch you off guard and um, well, they've been playing quite a bit of zone as of late, you know, mixing yeah. it up a little bit. So I think we were ready for that. Um, and, you know, fortunately, sometimes if you don't knock down a couple, then the zone gets a little better. And we were able to, you know, come out third quarter and, and hit those big threes and open things up a little bit. So that's certainly helpful. We don't typically shoot 54%. I kind of like it. It's fun. Um, but it makes the game a lot easier when you're shooting the ball like that. You, you mentioned you don't, so you don't play a lot of zone? Is that right? We haven't. Yeah. No, okay. we have not. We, we yeah. you know, we zoned Kentucky here early. We zoned a couple other people in some stretches, and, and we just we've been more of a man-to-man -man team. And you know, you look at their numbers and their shooters, and they're just frightening to ch think about zoning them. But yeah. uh, you know, I, I just uh, I don't know. The girls responded really well, and and you know, we had to make a lot of adjustments as the game was going on, and it, I felt like I was reteaching the zone as the game was going on because. Um, you know, it was just something we, we thought of two days ago, really taking a good look at it. And, uh, yeah. you know, it's one of those things, sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. When did you decide that we're going to go zone against the team? Well, two days ago, I got thinking about it pretty seriously. And we really, you know, had about one practice where we really spent quite a bit of time on it and talking personnel. Yeah. And then there's just always things you can't simulate in practice. So, um, you know, that was where we were adjusting as the game was going on and talking about different ways to try to cover this as the game was going on. And, um, you know, being able to keep that same group out there for a long time was helpful just because of the fact that they were they were beginning to understand what we were doing and looking for. Yeah. Did you have a backup plan in case? Uh, in case oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, we, we would have gone man and we actually manned a few out, out of bounds and uh, mm -hmm. had some good sequences in man as well. And we didn't want to be afraid to man them because uh, we felt like we we could do that as well. So, um, but we were certainly going to give them a shot. And you know, they they make 13 threes. But ironically, you know, against Portland State, who plays all zone, they made eight to nine against them, and, and that was 40 minutes of zone. So they're going to, you know, they just that's what they do. They have a lot of great shooters, and credit to them. Uh, you know, they just they knock down threes. Yeah, did you look at that? Portland State game, MSU Portland State. Oh yeah. Game. Yeah. Yeah. I mean and that's that was one that kinda gave me a little bit of, you know, boy if you know, I know our zone isn't quite as tall and as long as Portland State, but you know, if you can get somebody a little bit out of sync and their on ball stuff is just so hard to handle out of their man sets, they just continually on ball you and put you in binds and, and so uh, the zone kind of eliminates some of that. Were you worried when they hit three out of their first four threes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
I wasn't liking it. But I told myself I was going to give my I gave myself a number at half of what I was going to live with, and uh, you know we were under that, so that was good. Did you guys have assists on uh, 15 or first 16 buckets in the second half? Is that ball movement or? Uh, what, where is where's that just did that stat come from? Well, uh, part of that was the zone stretch where you know we were finding people and then you know converting on the other end of it. Uh, the nice thing about that was we had inside and outside action. Taylor was knocking down perimeter shots. Jace got some ducks in the post. Uh, I thought uh, Caitlin came in and and had a nice over the top. So just a big combination of things, and we did have some great passing today. As you guys come down the stretch now, uh, do you feel like this was a breakthrough to snap the losing streak, not only to them, but to them overall now to take some momentum on the road? Well, yeah, certainly you don't want to go into the tournament, you know, having dropped six in a row or anything like that. But, uh, you know, our last game here at home, obviously we took some pride in that. And, and Bobcat Grizz, that's always a big thing. And so it was just a combination of uh, a lot of things that made this game a big one. And, um, you know, we've got a really tough road trip ahead of us. We're going to be gone for a lot of days from here on out. And it would be nice to go in, you know, at least with, with a little bit of momentum and feeling like you're coming off a good one. That's always a nice feeling. Yeah, I just thought finally, you know, it seems like it's hard for everybody to win on the road this season in the big sky. Is it exceptional that way uh, in your mind? Uh, this season? Yeah, it is. Uh, it's it's interesting right now. I was just looking at some scores right now, and, and Idaho was getting beat at home. And, uh, you know, so it, it's just unbelievable the way this league has been. Um, and it's, I think, going to make just for an unbelievable tournament. It could, it literally could be anybody's tournament. So, uh, but I think it, all in all, this the conference this year has been incredibly competitive, and it's been you know, just an absolute guess every every night to try to pick who's going to pull out a win on the road. Uh, Hannah, can you uh, open up and uh, maybe just with some comments, just how did this one feel? Uh, this one kind of got away in the second half. What's the emotions like in the locker room after this one? Um, everyone's just kind of silent right now, you know. Um, doesn't feel good by any means. This was our last game in this building. Um, it's always a tough atmosphere, but it's a fun one too, and we just didn't step up to the plate. So, disappointing. The rebounding numbers stick out a lot, shaking your head. What, yeah. what happened? My, it killed us. And we, I think everyone in this league knows that Montana wins when, they're, when they win the boards. Um, and we went in prepared for that, and they just out hustled us, out competed us on the glass, and we couldn't find an answer. So there's nothing much to say about that except for they got it done and we didn't. Delaney, can you add to that? You're one kind of battling in there for rebounds. Um, what was it like down there? Were they kind of doing that, out hustling, just beating yeah, you guys? I, I think we got out physical. I hate to say it, but um, I think our leading rebounder was three re rebounds, and you know, we as posts. We need to do a lot better job of cleaning the boards, and I, I think they really um, they really challenged us on that, and, and they came to play. Like Hannah said, they they came to play, and we did it. And in that third quarter, uh, he has a four-point game at halftime. In that third quarter, Dolagoski had all those threes. Yeah. When when she got hot, how much do you think that turned the tide in their favor? Oh, I think it totally did. I mean, they and she too. Um, they hit shots that we weren't prepared for, and. We didn't make adjustments when they went in. So, um, I mean, they're not a great three-point three-point shooting team. Not a knock on them. They're a great team in way other a um, bunch of other categories. But um, we weren't ready for that. And um, Coach Harris tried to throw out so many different kinds of de um, kinds of defenses, and for some reason we just couldn't adjust. So, I mean, kudos to them for hitting tough shots. Did you feel like you guys got the shots you wanted against their zone? No, I think we were really stagnant. Um, I thought we could have had a lot more movement. I don't know what it is about zones, but uh, we become really stagnant and start second guessing every single shot. And uh, obviously, we're a good shooting team, and we shouldn't be doing that. We have way too good of shooters to uh, be second guessing everything. So I just I think we need to learn from it and grow from it because in two games here, we're going to be in the Big Sky tournament. Uh, Hannah, can you talk more about that defense that you mentioned? Uh, I I I thought you guys played a ton of zone. I don't know if I don't yeah. know how. Maybe that was that the most you guys played in zone all year. You think? Uh, probably. I probably. Mean, yeah, were, we're you comfortable in that? Uh, I mean, it was better than our uh, man defense that we started out with. You know, mm -hmm. so um, we went to zone 
at the end of the first half yeah. and um, and then we stuck with zone in the third quarter and we just couldn't close out fast enough. We couldn't bump people. Um, yeah, so and they hit shots. How was the week of practice leading up to this? Was there anything that you guys thought coming into this game that maybe sickness or anything that, that played a factor? <laughs> and nothing can play a factor when you play that bad, you know. Yeah, we just had to have way better practices and uh, be ready for anything because Montana was ready for this game and we came out really flat and that's that's when we, we start struggling is when we come out flat. So we need to find a way to get energy in these next few games before we hit the tournament. It's your last guy, game here, it seems like We've talked more like this in your four, four years, you know, after losses here. What is it about playing here? Have you guys figured it out? What, what is it? Well, we didn't figure it out today. Um, but, I mean, it's a, it's a tough environment every, everywhere you go, but especially here, I think, at our place, too. And we beat them at home. Um, so, I, I mean, the fans are awesome in Montana on both sides. Um, they create great environments, um, especially for a mid-major conference. You know, it's... Um, so I think also we have a lot of new people, not an excuse, a lot of new people that haven't played here yet. You know, so it's, it's just a different type of environment. I think next year they'll be ready to come back and um, hit the ground running, but this year we just didn't have enough people that knew what it felt like, I think. Coach, can you just start off of some general comments? I mean, the rebounding sticks out. But what kind of happened uh, with that category specifically in this game? Uh, they destroyed us on the glass. and. We did a poor job on the glass. I think uh, it's a pretty pretty simple game when you look at ju just the discrepancy there. We did a great job on the glass at home, and uh, we got a lot of second opportunities at home as well. And, uh, a little bit impatient offensively. I think when you're impatient, you don't get the ball movement. Doesn't give you as many opportunities to get people around, uh, particularly when they went zone for this particular matchup. But uh, defensively, it's it's a matter of getting stops and. Uh, uh, we knew that going in into it. Those were the two keys: offensive rebounds, defensive rebounds, and uh, we did not win those two. You you mentioned uh, this week that the paint that the Grizzlies go into the paint a lot. Now that Styles isn't there, you kind of called it, and they went to the paint. So even though you you knew that they were going to go there, why why did you have so many struggles with defending just those entries and things in the paint? Yeah, it's a great question. We just uh, we didn't really have an answer. I thought we had to we had to shuffle our defense more than what we typically do, uh, and. Uh, you know, this, this team, we've been a little bit up and down in that category, and we've been super strong. It's been able to make pretty much whatever we call work, and we, we, need, to, we need to find a way to make those things work on the road. And that's, that's a really the challenge for this team right now as we have two games left is finding ways to produce the energy and, and the edge that we have on our home floor uh, away from the field house because we've been way more consistent at home than we have on the road. Can you tell us about the defense a little bit more? Because I, I just asked Hannah and Delaney about all the zone that – that I saw. And I, was that the most zone you think you played all year, uh, especially in that second quarter and I think in the third too? Well, we definitely went to it more. Uh, we were just yeah. struggling to protect each other in the paint in, in, in the man and uh, we weren't rebounding well out of it, so gave them a different look. Uh, they, they were able to hit shots today. It's not something that, uh, that's been their strength, so credit them for hitting the shots today. Uh, when we did go zone, I thought Taylor had a great game. Uh, hit some shots from the outside and uh, but at the same time, you know, trying to keep, catch teams uh, off guard, trying to get them out of rhythm, you've got to do something. You've got to find some kind of answer. We just weren't able to find that answer today. When Goligoski gets going like that, it, how much does that change them? Because uh, she hasn't been shooting the ball like that. So I mean, did, did that change just the way you guys were reacting defensively? I, I think the, the biggest thing was they were just comfortable at that point. I think uh, pretty much if you get any team comfortable, then the, the rim gets a little bit bigger for anybody. And uh, I think that was the point that we saw in the third quarter is they just started getting super comfortable. And, and you know, that's, that's on us. We need to do a better job not letting uh, teams get going. 36 threes, is that, is that too many against that zone? Uh, I definitely wanted more shots uh, with our fives for sure, um, but uh, pretty much 25 to 33 attempts, uh, 30 for, for us is pretty pretty normal. It's more a matter of um, getting the same production out of our centers that we were able to get in the field house. I thought our centers really produced at home and we, we just need to get Madeline and Blair uh, and Laura going early, uh, taking, taking advantage more of that one-on-one -on -one matchup. We were able to draw a lot of fouls, we just didn't get a lot of shots up because the foul kind of took that away. Uh, overall, the offense, how would you describe it? Was, um, flat or what, what was it? I think Hannah maybe actually threw that out that maybe they were, you guys were a little flat on offense. How would you Yeah, I mean, when you look at ball movement, player movement, uh, when we're, we're clicking on all cylinders, it just, it's 
pretty good with our flow, and I didn't think we were sprinting into action as, as well as we could have. But uh, at the same time, I think our offense really is going to have better tempo if we're getting stops on the defense. And everything looks better when you're feeling good about your defense getting stops. Is that, is that what you were searching for when, especially when you're doing you know, full court press and things like that. Were you searching for that defense to provide a spark in this game? Well, we definitely wanted to pick up the pressure. We wanted to get some <coughs> energy about us. And sometimes uh, putting on a press is not only going to get you playing harder, but maybe can speed up your opponent a little bit. It seemed like uh, your freshman took shots uh, in rhythm, but didn't knock them down. Is, is that an adjustment? Or I guess, how hard is it for a freshman to come into this venue and shoot off? Yeah, Dahlberg Arena. I, I mean, you got to get your feet wet. It's one of the reasons why, you know, Hannah uh, didn't come out much. You know, she's used to this environment. She plays really well in this environment. Uh, but we, we just need to bring other kids along and, and get them more comfortable in this environment. I was really, really proud of, of Oli. Oli's uh, kind of had a couple rocky games and got herself going again today. And, and so that was important. But we need four kids in, in double digits for us to be successful. And we were able to get that. Um, but once again, I mean, you know, it's what's the discrepancy? 25? I'm like, it doesn't matter how well we shoot the ball if we're going to give up 25 extra possessions on glass.